custom service of the Syrian Arab Republic coming from the monsters. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. <laughs> My idea was to bring a long table that 100 people could sit around um, and we would start just by, by eating with each other and that would start this discussion. I wanted it to be a place really that, that kind of promoted conversation, a place that people felt comfortable to start talks. And you go to like a wedding or you go to like a meal in Italy and everyone's sitting around this long table and everyone's talking to everybody. There's something about this concept of one long table and a shared feast. So if that could be the basis of the exhibition, then I could build everything around that. I just got back from Lesvos, and I heard this sound in the distance, this violin playing. And I had to find where it was coming from. And I came out and I saw Allah playing. And it broke my heart, but also yeah, I realised he could do something that I will never be able to do in a photograph. He took me to a place that no image would ever do. It was something so deep within. And I didn't know his story. I didn't know who he was. But I knew that I had to work with that violinist. So to be able to bring him here two years later, that for me is, is one of the greatest joys of this whole exhibition. Is to bring people that I care about, people that have affected me, to be able to share their work with others. It's a great, 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 My, my secret, uh, no, my, uh, yeah, my friend and he keep, uh, and he's my tongue sometimes. <laughs> he's me. He can speak what, what I cannot speak by words. You know, obviously, it was a kind of crazy idea to suddenly think we're going to put a, you know, a huge red table in the middle of an exhibition. It kind of went against all the norms. But really that was the magic, was friends I've known for years, all different walks of life, people that I've met 20 years ago, people I've met months ago, all came together to make this happen. You know, I have a really strong belief that none of us can change the world on our own, but each one of us can create ripples. Each one of us can do what we're good at. The whole project was a journey for me, and on that journey, I met some I incredible say, people. I take a better photograph of somebody. You know, art can bring people together. We had more than a thousand people attending this event, and people actually interested. They already, they already came, so that means they care. But I, what I like about this kind of events and this kind of collaboration, right, it's not just, just a show where people come and look at the painting and tap the artist on the back, oh, good job, and, and they leave. You know, no, here we start a conversation. You know, we talk. I tell my story. I tell the story of the kids, the people in, in my country. By doing that, it becomes more personal. You would understand my work and the significance and the message behind it. Person. It's amazing. <laughs> you should be in charge of everything. Yes. <laughs> if I was queen, I'd make you in charge of everything. <laughs> so often, you know, there's always divisions of people trying to create divisions. But when you put together two artists, all of that disappears. So that's really what I wanted to do with this event was an opportunity to start creating collaborations. You know, again and again, I hear people talking about us and them. Those people. Them those that we have to help. It isn't about us and them, it's about us. My, my expectations, in a way, were simple. I just wanted to try and get people to come together and talk and then let it take on its own life. But what I do know is that it's bigger than me. 
I'm just a part in it. I'm a conduit that's going to start bringing people together. But in the years that are ahead, this will become something that hopefully is shared across the world and people coming together to tell stories. Music is uh, helped me. It's about positive energy. It's, uh, it's universal language. And music, it's, um, they, they are presenting the beauty and they are linking us as humans with the beauty as well with the feeling. So I think when we feel more, we are able to, to understand and to feel we are all united. I know for sure that a painting or a photography or any kind of art will not stop war. It cannot save a child from dying. You know? But again, what else can we do? Art defines a humanity. I have to do that. I have no other choice. I don't know, I don't know anything else, you know? And I will, this is my, this is my arm. This is, my paintings are my army. The reason I do my work is because I want to start conversations. I want to start collaborations. I want to help build communities. I take photographs because I want people to take action. There is a war, so they were like refugees, they were like suffering, they were. But to show these stories and to share these stories and to talk all together about it and to, to give also visions and create all the sharing visions to the future. So it means, it means yes, there is, a, there is a lot of hope.